Good evening all and welcome to another video on All Hazard Ale. It's Father's Day, it's Sunday, it's Dark Beer Day. Which one is it? It's this one. It is Rick Welter from Black Sheep Brewery. And it is a strong dark Yorkshire ale weighing in at 5.7% ABV. And it says on the back, it's, uh, the fabled Rig Welter is a ferocious and powerful dark ale with true Yorkshire bite, a wolf in sheep's clothing. Complex flavors of chocolate, licorice, and coffee blend with a roasted malt, leaving a long lasting dry finish. It's independently brewed in Masham in Yorkshire using fresh Dales water and our iconic Yorkshire square fermenters. So yeah, I've never had it before, ever. It's just a bit of a surprise, really, given how popular it is. Um, but yeah, we're going to correct that today. So uh, so yeah, that's the uh, the rig welter. Let's get it out into a glass and see what we think. Now, I don't have any black sheep branded glassware, so we're going to pour into my Titanic goblet today. And the pour is dark. Like a good mahogany colour there. There we are, look at that. It's a nice deep mahogany with a, I suppose you could call it a taupe head that's pretty decent. It's, it's pretty compact and consistent. There's a few larger bubbles, but on the whole, that looks like a nice dark ale. You know, it's, it's clear uh, as a bell. You know, it's a lovely, lovely dark colour. Looks good. Let's have a whiff. That's old school. That really is old school. It's dark, it's rich, it's fruity, as in like your dark fruits. So uh, think raisins and sultanas and dates, that, that kind of thing. It's very Christmas cakey. And get the coffee coming through. It's a nice, intense coffee. It's quite far back on the nose as well, so you have to take a real slow, deep inhale to get that. Otherwise the, the dark fruits come and ride roughshod. It's a classic multi ale on the nose. Let's see what it's like on the tongue. Cheers. Mmm. That's lovely. That is lovely. That is beautiful the body on it is decent it's a real real sort of medium heavy body to it it's lovely carbonation is spot on mouthfeel is soft a little bit silky but those flavors oh that is it's proper old school it's super malty the caramel notes are there in the background the coffee is subtle on the flavour, it's stronger on the nose. I said chocolate. I'm not getting chocolate in a big way, certainly not like you would get in some of the bigger chocolate stouts or anything like that. It's perhaps an element of the sweetness. The dark fruits are coming through, that cakey element, that dark sort of winter thing, sort of fruit cake, that kind of thing is what you're getting. The malts are absolutely stunning. It's so rich and vibrant why did i wait so long to try this this is stunning the finish is moorish those dark dried fruits are really prominent here as well you know wait, wait, imagine sort of chewing on raisins and sultanas for ages that kind of subtleness at the end love it love it My old man would have loved this one. He did enjoy his sort of dark malty beers and I don't think he ever got to try it. Um, so hopefully he's listening from up there and uh, hopefully he's getting the angel share as the old uh, the, the Scots would say with their whiskey. You know, there's, there's bound to be an angel share of this one somewhere in the sky. Mm. Lovely, lovely stuff. So... I think this, is, this has got to be easily my favourite black sheep beer that I've tried. Um, so yeah, strong dark Yorkshire ale, rig welter. What do I think of you? Well, before I tell you what I think of you, we're going to go to the aid memoir from Untapped. 
And that says there have been an impressive 11,000 check-ins with a pretty decent average score of 3.57, which given the propensity for craft beer on untapped, to get a real ale, or a traditional ale, should I say, scored that highly is pretty impressive. Um, so let's just put the RW on my scoreboard of joy and give it the five pillars of judgment. The looks, the aroma, the body, the taste, and the finish. Start with the looks. It's a great looking beer. You know, it's it's lovely and dark. It's not jet black, porter, stout level. It's a lovely deep mahogany. I mean, look at that up close. It's a beautiful color. Little tinge of red coming through on the edges. Although I'm not sure if that's just picking up the reflection of my chair. Um, with a nice off-white head, it looks the part. It, if, as I was a kid, you know, if someone said, describe me a beer, this is the kind of beer I would have described uh, back in the 80s. And it's lovely. Can I fault it? No. I can't. It's wonderful. It gets the full point for the looks. The aroma is really nice. If you like a malty beer, you've got nice roasted malts, dried fruits, think fruit cake, that sort of thing. Hint, little hint of the uh, sort of the sweetness that you would get from a cake. There is that hint of coffee if you really inhale deep. They mentioned licorice. Now, I'm getting a hint of that and it's on the back end it's that little spicy note it's just the finish your inhale it's there it's subtle thankfully because i don't like licorice it smells really nice like i say if you like a malty beer i love them i was raised on them and i will love them always as the style goes it's pretty damn spot on i'm gonna give it the full point the body is excellent on on a beer of a nice dark beer like this, I want some substance to it, and there is plenty in this one. You know, you, you see it in the glass, you give it a little roll, and the way it coats the side of the glass, and it's just, let's see if I can get it, the way that, that is just sort of settling down back into the, uh, into the flat, you can tell it's got something about it. It is superb. Lovely mouthfeel, nice silky smooth, medium heavy body, spot on. Can't fault it, giving it the point. And the flavour, the taste, which we all know is king. And uh, it's got plenty of it. It has got plenty. Beautiful dried fruits in that fruitcake form. You've got a little bit of coffee. It's subtle, but it's there. The malts are superb. The sweetness from the, what I suppose is the chocolate malt is really nice as well. It's just a huge malt bomb of a beer. I love it. It's classic. It's old school. It's delicious. It's getting the full point. And the finish. This is the one point where the beer could fall down. But does it? No. On a beer of this style, I want that Moorish nature to the finish. I want it to be sweet, malty, complex, long-lasting. And it's all of that. Like I say, that fruit cake, that dried fruit that you've just been chewing on for ages and, and the maltiness of perhaps like a lump of saurine. It's it's all there. It's delicious. It's a winter warmer for sure, even though we're in the middle of June. Well, tomorrow's the solstice as it happens. Um, but yeah, this one is absolutely spot on. It's wonderful. I'm giving it the full point, which means it's got five out of five from me. So... Black Sheep Brewery. You've got a belter in the rig welter. It's stunning. And uh, like I say, I can guarantee my old man would have loved this beer as well. Uh, so for all the fathers out there on Father's Day, if you haven't tried rig welter, definitely do. It's a lovely beer. And uh, even if you've uh, tried it many times, have another one because it is lovely. So there we go. Happy Father's Day to all out there. That's been the beer. I've been me. Those down there are the buttons. And I will see you again soon as will Saracen see the Premiership. Catch you again later. Bye.